So, we just got back to the van after doing two nights in Clear Creek Canyon out here in the Coconino National Forest, and I realized that I never actually shot an intro to this video. So, uh, here's the intro, or it's the outro, or, well, it's kind of both. Regardless, we drove about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, out here into the middle of the Coconino National Forest, had to park the van because couldn't go down these roads and hiked about a mile to the top of Clear Creek Canyon and here's the rest. Deep in research for a new documentary about public lands, I needed a break from Flagstaff. The point of this trip wasn't to hike fast, it wasn't to do big miles, and it wasn't to get from one end to the other. This hike was about getting out to explore our public lands and let them hopefully inspire our creativity. Day two here in Clear Creek Canyon. Clear Creek Canyon, right? Is that is that what we decided? It's a canyon. It's, it's West the Clear Creek for sure. West Clear Creek, yeah. West Clear Creek Canyon. But I think the plan today is to kind of go explore around some little slot canyons, because there's the big canyon that we're in right now, but there's all these little side canyons that kind of shoot off. So I think we're going to go try to get into some of those and, and explore. Really amazing night last night. Beautiful day today, no wind, really calm, and me watching these two uh, play the most riveting game of chess. Folks, this is why I don't stop and smell the roses, because stopping and smell the roses just takes way too long and it's boring. Cards, I'll play cards, but chess in the backcountry? monster. Apparently this creek is full of these guys.
stopped for a little bit of lunch here on this nice little ledge next to the water. Well, everything in here is next to the water. And starting to explore these little bitty crack canyons kind of on the side of the main canyon. Uh, really trying to find some like narrows, something that's got some water running through it that might still have some ice or something in there, but haven't really found anything yet. But a lot of these neat little like ledges to kind of sit out on in the shade because it's also getting pretty exposed now that it's it's like noon. All right. Almost one. Yeah, almost one. So past noon, sun is definitely out and shining through the canyon. This is absolutely incredible in here. Beautiful. It's like a big cathedral. It's all completely carved out rock. Oh! So the whole point of this trip was to do an out and back, and uh, we went out pretty far. What have we done, fellas, you think? I mean, eight miles total right now. About eight miles. Um, we didn't go too far in last night, so we've done the majority of our hiking today. But the plan is to basically head back the way we came, um, which will be cool because we can kind of experience the canyon from the other way, and then find a good camp spot for the night I don't know if we're going to do the same camp spot or a different one and head out in the morning. So just a two night trip, three days. But so far, so good. Super pretty, super wet, a lot of water. For everyone that thinks that Arizona is a crazy dry state, come hike in here. Pretty amazing day today. We just got here to another little camp spot. Just got set up right next to the creek again, up against this canyon wall in the trees. I'm gonna go grab some water, make some dinner, maybe play some cards because uh, it's nice to kind of stop and smell the roses every once in a while. We should have about four and a half or five miles to hike out tomorrow, back through the canyon, back where we came from and where we started this morning. Um, that camp spot's not too far back and get up to the road and get back to the van. Pretty amazing that this is like an hour from where I live now and I can just load up in the van, come down here for a couple days to swim, you know, explore little canyons, camp. Amazing. Amazing that we have these places and that we have set aside and preserved these places. Um, 
pretty amazing. All right, I'm gonna go grab some water, make some dinner, hit the hay because I am wore out. Doing the time lapse, it's just, it's just filming. Or it's just taking photos. Right. But that's still, that's a lot of photos. Yeah. What I know what I need. Off and rolling this morning. And already doing a bunch of bushwhacking. Oh. But we just got back to our original spot that we stayed at on night one. And that means what? We should only be three or four. Yeah, three or four miles from the top, so not too shabby. I don't know, man. They just look way too detailed. And if they are, I mean, they were done later at later dates. Because if you look at the ones like right over here on the rock, like those. Those are cool. That's why they're almost washed away. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, some of them might be 3,000 years old, some of them might be 1,000 years old. Right. You'd expect the artistic styles to change. Almost back up to the top of the canyon. Climb's tough. Alright. Inspiration for a film about why we should do more to protect these places? I might have found it.